Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is the Ovilus 3. I love this piece of equipment. Despite the fact that it has garnered a huge amount of controversy from paranormal investigators the world over over the last several years because some people feel that the results that it captures are not fully credible. I of course completely and totally disagree. Let's talk a little bit about what exactly this device does. So inside of this piece of equipment there is a word bank of thousands and thousands of words. The word bank is not editable. You cannot alter or change the bank of words inside of this device which means that when it draws a word that's coming forward for you as an investigator, it is in no way, shape or form able to be sort of geared or focused by you. So you can't edit those words out to only get the words that pertain to what you're investigating. The Ovilus actually has a number of sensors that are built into it that measure everything from ambient temperature, humidity, EM, a whole range of things are captured with this device. Now the prevailing theory is that the spirit can actually alter the environmental readings. It can alter the environment around the device and effectively force certain words to come forward. So they're communicating in sort of a telepathic perhaps kind of way or a way in which they are actually manipulating and controlling the environment to bring about certain readings. Because the device itself takes an ambient temperature reading, it takes a reading of the humidity, it takes a reading of the EM, and then it uses all of those you know, very specific pieces of information, feeds them into an algorithm, and that algorithm draws up a certain word. One particular point of investigation that strikes me time and time again, and to this day, I mean, we finished shooting there, I think in August of 2019, and we're now looking, we're in 2020 right now, and I still think about this moment every other day, it seems, because we were investigating Lansa Meadows, um, and we were trying to communicate with the spirits of Vikings, uh, who had first landed there thousands of years ago, and we ended up having a individual who worked um, out on the property for many, many, many years and a relative of one of our guests come through and I specifically asked for him to tell us his name. I said, give us your name. If you're here and you want to communicate right now, please tell us your name. And as plain as day, through this device, the name Job came through. It was Joby was his nickname, he was Job. That was his name. Um, and that was just absolutely astonishing. You know, I, I think all of that controversy, all of that sort of discussion, for me, went right out the window when that moment happened. I've had several other investigations in the previous time and since then as well, where the words and the things that are coming through are in direct response to our questions. And that's really key. If you're asking a question and then you're receiving a direct response within a few moments, that's how you know there's an interaction happening. If nobody's saying anything and all of a sudden it's just spitting out words, maybe that simply fluctuations in temperature and humidity and EM versus actual manifestation coming forward from a spirit. Are you receiving something in direct response to a question that you're asking? That is key. If we ask a question, we wait for a response. If we receive a response from this device that is within that time frame, but also is directly referencing something that we've either just talked about, something that's occurring in the area, maybe part of the history, or maybe even the name of a specific individual, which we've seen many times, that's how we know the Ovilus 3 is working and that we're actually receiving communication versus just a false positive test. Thanks a lot, that's the Ovilus 3.